Yeah, spaghetti pomodoro is what we're making, right? Yes, sir. We got uh, Brian Efron with us from Carrabba's Italian Grill. Good to have you on Studio 10. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. So, Chef Brian, is this your first time on the show? It's my first time at Fox 10, yes, sir. I love it. I love it. But you are an experienced chef, and that's why you have got such a, a wonderful selection of ingredients to put this spaghetti together. And I have eaten at Carabas before. I know you got good food there. Yes, and sir. spaghetti is probably one of the most popular dishes to get, right? Absolutely. And, you know, it's, it's a classic for a reason. You know, a lot of people love the spaghetti, and we've got a couple of um, a couple of the other classics that we're working right now. You know, for National Spaghetti Day, we're actually offering three options. We're doing that spaghetti pomodoro that we're making today. We're doing a penne alfredo, and we're doing this linguine positano. Oh, I love it. Well, what's the first step? What do we need to do to start putting that together? Well, first of all, we put some olive oil in here, and I've already okay. started to get it hot. You want to do about a quarter cup, and uh, you can tell when it's gotten hot enough. You can tell you can smell the olive oil kind of in the air. So once it's gotten to that heat, we're gonna throw some onions in here, start getting it caramelized. Good sign that you've gotten it hot enough is that it hits a sizzle as soon as it hits the pan. Right you want to hear that. You want to hear that little sizzling sound. And what the folks at home don't get to get to experience is the smell, the scent of that onion cooking. Oh, absolutely. Love it. And you know that's kind of the best part about cooking, right? Yes. All the smells and the taste. So once we get these a little bit just softened, you want to start to see them get a little bit translucent. Okay. So there's a the flavor profile you're looking for. So you want to make sure that you don't brown any of your vegetables. All right. All right. So once we've got that going just a little bit, we're going to go ahead and add the garlic. Now we're doing about four cloves of garlic. And uh, I usually say you're going to want to do one clove of garlic per cup of sauce you're making. Sort of your standard rule. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and then again, I love garlic, so a little bit ah, extra is never okay. going to hurt you, right? Okay, that's good. So you're going to want to do this for about maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Once again, we're just really trying to pull some of the flavor from the garlic. You want it to sweat just a little bit so you really get that flavor kind of emulsion in the olive oil. Now, for anyone who isn't familiar with uh, Carabas, where are you guys located? So we're located on Airport Boulevard. It's actually 3917 Airport Boulevard right before Azalea. Okay, so you're right in the heart of Airport Boulevard. Yes, sir. So that way no one can miss Carabas. And we're, on like a Friday, how late are you guys open over there? Um, we're open until 11 o'clock on Friday and Saturday, 9 on Sunday, and then 10 o'clock every other day of the week. Oh, and uh, you guys have specials, right? Oh, All the absolutely. Time. Absolutely. We're always doing something new. You know, we're doing something for the National Spaghetti Day. We're doing $10 for each one of these pastas I have displayed. Only $10? Yes, sir. Oh, see, that's a deal. And then uh, we also do $10 off bottles of wine on Wednesday. Um, we do some pretty interesting like four course dinners, the wine dinners. Actually on our January wine dinner we're featuring these two dishes here. We've got the Pollo Rosa Maria, it's a four ounce stuffed chicken breast, stuffed with prosciutto and fontina cheese, oh. and then topped with uh, mushrooms, fresh basil and lemon butter. We also have the Spadino, which is shrimp and scallops, lightly breaded, done on the wood burning grill, topped with our signature white wine and lemon butter sauce. You see, Chef Brian doesn't understand when someone like me has got to do the morning news, you get here at four o'clock in the morning, I'm starving by now, right? And you're, and you're, you're selling me this stuff, you're telling me this stuff, it's just, it's killing me from hunger. And uh, I know that when this is done, I, you're not going to have just me and Joe, but probably half the studio is going to want to jump in and, oh. and, and take a, a bite of this. Well, we brought, we brought plenty of food, so hopefully you'll be able to. You got it. Now, uh, Carabas, you guys have a social pages, Facebook, Instagram. Absolutely. And what's your website? The website is just Carabas.com. That's okay. C-A-R-R-A-B-B-A-S.com. And uh, when we come back later on, because we have two more segments to go, when we come back later in the hour, what is something we're going to focus on with this dish? Well, we're actually going to talk about the proper way to cook pasta. All right. Because, you know, traditionally it's just kind of a throw it in the water and let it go. But there is a perfect way to make sure that you have the pasta absolutely right every time. And if you want to make sure you figure that out for yourself, all you got to do is go to fox10tv.com or to the Studio 10 tab. We'll have the ingredients listed and more information about Carabas. But stick around as we approach 930. We're going to find out a lot more about that from Chef Brian. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Joe. Back in the kitchen with Brian from Carabas Italian Grill. I knew it was going to be a good day when I walked in and I saw you had like five dishes done already there, out here. There we go, right? <laughs> Always a good thing. And I love cooking with garlic and I love Italian food, so it smells so good in here. There you go. Uh, so tell the folks what we're working on specifically today. So we're working on a spaghetti pomodoro. 
This is kind of a traditional Italian dish. Okay. It's uh, you know traditionally known as like the spaghetti and meatball sauce. That same red sauce. It's uh, you know olive oil, fresh onion, a little bit of fresh garlic, and we're gonna throw some fresh basil in the mix with some hand crushed tomatoes. So to break it down, spaghetti refers to the type of pasta, yes, correct? Sir. And pomodoro refers to the sauce. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So you're talking about how to make this perfect pasta. All the folks at home, I know they've all got their different techniques of just starting the water, throwing it in there. What is the right way? to do this so first you absolutely want to start by bringing your water to a full boil okay all right and then we don't add salt until it's boiling until it's boiling well reason being is you'll actually cook it to the bottom of the pan as opposed to actually melting it into your water okay. giving your pasta that kind of salty um, you know texture uh, f taste and texture sure so, so that's one of the misconceptions I've had because I've heard before that salt raises the boiling point so you should get it in there right away to make it boil faster well and as although it may be a catalyst to yeah. help it boil a little quicker it kind of destroys the whole point of using the salt in the first place. Gotcha, like, like you said, because it doesn't mix in with the water as well to contribute to the taste. Absolutely. Okay, cool. All right, so what's next? So next we're gonna take, you wanna make sure that your water, or your pasta has plenty of water so it has room to swim. Okay. So we wanna do about one pound of pasta for every gallon of water. Okay. So that way it's got plenty of room there in the water. And as you see, I'm kind of stirring the salt in with the pasta. Ah. Um, especially with these longer pastas, you want to give it a second to get a little bit of give. That way you don't end up breaking all your pasta once you get it in there. And you know, some people out there might be cutting that pasta in half or in third before you put it in there. That's that's improper technique as well, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> so hey. you put supposed to put the whole noodle in there. Well, you know, they say Italians don't use spoons and they don't break their pasta. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to do it properly, we're getting some tips on that this morning. Now, because today is National Spaghetti Day, uh, you've got something going on at Kravis. Tell the folks what's up. Yeah, so we've got these three pastas that we're offering for just $10 a piece. We've got the spaghetti pomodoro, penne alfredo, and the linguine positano. So they're kind of three different, uh, very different options, but mm -hmm. they all kind of honor the National Spaghetti Day. Man, so tell me about these dishes individually. So what does this one have here? So this one is a linguine finny. So it's like a thin linguine with a, what we call a pick pack sauce. Okay. It's fresh crushed tomatoes in olive oil with a lot of big fresh garlic slices and hand cut basil. All right, and then we've got the alfredo, of course, in yep. the middle. People and pretty much know what that is. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, all right, so can you add meats to this, or how does that work at Carabas when, oh. you, when, you, when you order one of these things? Absolutely. Well, so today for the base, the $10 is without the protein, but you can okay. always add meat sauce, um, which is pretty much like a crushed meat varietal that we do with the Pomodoro. Sure. And then we also have the meatballs, and uh, the meatballs are kind of legendary at Carabas. Yeah. You know, it's a big thing. It was actually Johnny's mom's recipe that we still use. Very cool. Of course, if you're an Italian restaurant, you got to have those meatballs. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to have those down and ready to go. Absolutely. All right, y'all, check out Carabas. We got more information online. We're going to continue to work on this pasta. When we come back, we're going to put these two together, and you're going to have spaghetti pomodoro. Thanks a lot, Brian. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. No problem. My I want to apologize to uh, the band. Yeah, probably had some technical issues with their microphones, so we're going to either try to let them play at the end or uh, we will have them back on Monday. So uh, we're going to try to work out the kinks with that. But where we don't have kinks is with Chef Brian right here with Carabas Italian Grill. Finished up the spaghetti pomodoro. And uh, you said this thing has turned out excellent so far. Absolutely. It seems like everything's really coming together exactly how I wanted it to. So um, first thing that we're going to do before we start plating this to serve is once your sauce is done, you want to go ahead and just add some fresh basil. Now, um, if you don't have real sharp knives at home or if you're not comfortable using a knife, it's actually just as easy to just tear the basil with your hands. Okay. Um, so you just kind of mix it in there. You don't want to put it in while it's hot because it'll turn your basil black and it'll just kill all that fresh flavor that you're looking for. So um, if you would hand me that ladle. I will. There you go, sir. So when I do it to serve personally, I like tossing my pasta. I don't like just dropping the sauce over the top. So I would put it in a, kind of a warm saute. I've got this at like a medium low heat. And as you see, it just kind of coats the bottom. So then we take our salted and cooked off parboiled spaghetti pasta. Uh, it's sticking a little bit because uh, I've had it out of the water for a minute. <laughs> and if you were making this at home, you wouldn't have just have it sitting there as long as we did for TV purposes. Absolutely not. You could also put a little olive oil or butter on it and it'll just loosen it right up and it won't stick together at all. So from there, we're just going to kind of and what's important, and you mentioned this before we came up from the commercial, is this is not overly complicated. Someone who may not be a cooking pro can do this at home very easily. 
Absolutely. And it's one of these things that, once again, you know, it's four or five very basic ingredients you can find at pretty much every grocery store. And then anybody can be an Italian chef at home. Love it. So you're going to drop the pasta in and you want to ladle your sauce right over the top, just like that. You have a homemade spaghetti pomodoro. Oh, it's, I was, my mother used to make the best spaghetti uh, growing up. And then every time I come home to visit her back in Dothan, I always request it. Mom, can you make some spaghetti? Hey, and uh, and she, long story short, she hadn't cooked it in about 10 years. There you go. Unfortunately. Well, I, my requests are never granted. Hey, it happens. But I at least ask. There you go. So if people want to come to Carabas, you guys always have specials going on. You're on Airport Boulevard, uh, and you're located close to where? Azalea, right? Yeah, but you know, we also have a delivery service. We actually deliver independently to your front door. There's no, uh, no middleman. In. It's my drivers delivering our food. So you just have the Carabas app on your phone and that's how you do it? Or? You can do the Carabas app, you can go online, or you can give us a call and we can check to make sure you're in the delivery area. Oh. And we run all kinds of specials and deals on the delivery service. That is fantastic. I didn't even know about that. See, even I learned something with this. So Carabas is the place to be and you guys are open till. 10 right today and Saturday actually we're open till 11 on 11. the weekends and then we're open until 10 on the weekdays that's right and then 9 on Sundays yes sir all right carabas.com is the website yes sir and you can find them on all the social media pages and uh, chef Brian I think for your first time on Studio 10 you did an excellent job well thank you very much it was a pleasure to be here you got it hopefully we'll have you back and we'll have all the information he just mentioned on our website fox10tv.com under the studio 10 tab Joe